Here's what you need to know to start using landing pages and forms with Kit, so you can capture more emails and turn website visitors into subscribers. When you first open up Kit, you'll see this dashboard page, but to get started talking about how we get subscribers into Kit, let's go to Grow and then Landing Pages and Forms. Here at the top, you'll see a chart that shows how your landing pages and forms are performing on a daily basis, how many subscribers they're getting, and which form or landing page captured the most subscribers. But let's talk about what exactly a landing page is and what a form is. Down here, you'll see a Create New button, and then we get to choose between a form or a landing page. A form can be embedded anywhere on your website, sales page, or a landing page that you host yourself. While a landing page is a way for you to capture email addresses with a page that's hosted by Kit or you can even use your own domain for these landing pages. To start off, I'm gonna look at landing pages. These editors are very similar. I think if we take a look at landing pages, you'll see how the editor works and forms become even easier to make awesome. So let's go into landing pages. And you can see here, there's a lot of templates to choose from. You can also filter these templates by the type of landing page you wanna create. So if it's an event or you wanna create a newsletter landing page, for example, you can do that here on the left side and look at the templates we specifically recommend for those purposes. Of course, you can use any of these templates for any purpose, but this at least gives you an idea of what we'd recommend for these different topics. So I'm gonna go back to all landing page templates and we'll go down here and just choose a landing page template. Let's start off with Cypress here. Now that you've selected the template you want to use, you're inside of the landing page editor, which is super easy to use. Click anywhere you want to make changes. And on the right side, you'll see styles for that. And on the left side, you can make changes to this text. So you can type in a new paragraph if you wanted. You can change this title at the top by just clicking. And you can also add form fields. So if you want more than just email address, click the plus button to add another form field. And on the right side, you'll see your options for this field. You can choose custom field to do something like name, for example. So we could choose first name here. And now you're collecting both email address and first name. You can also drag these form fields to change the order. You can also add a drop down. So if you click this plus button, you can add a drop down based on tags. So over on the right side, we can choose tag, label this as what's your interest. And then under tag options, we can choose a few different tags. So let's say learning design, we're a beginner, we're a mid-level, etc. So these are the tags that you would have your subscribers tag with. Essentially, you're putting them into a list for each of these things. And you can choose labels for each of these. By default, it's the name of the tag. But of course, for for example, here, design experience beginner, you may not want to label your option that. So maybe you just say, I'm getting started, or I've been doing this for a while. So now when you click this drop down, you'll see those options. And depending on what option they choose, they'll be tagged with that when they subscribe. You can do a lot more with these forms and landing pages. So for example, in this landing page, we can change the image here just by clicking and you can see an option for changing this, editing this photo specifically. You can edit how this photo looks, how it's cropped, the colors, etc., all here inside of Kit. Or if you wanna just simply change the image that's here, click replace. You can upload your own images here, either by choosing or just dragging them into this selector. You can also go to Unsplash, which is a royalty-free stock photography site. These images are free to use and simply select an image and I'll replace it here in the landing page. Let's talk about what happens after somebody signs up to your landing page. You may want to send them to a thank you page and you can do that up here at the top by clicking add page. This defaults to a thank you page where you can say thanks for signing up. This also grabs all the styles from this original page. So if you've changed things like the background color, for example, it will copy that over to this thank you page and make it really easy for you to create that custom thank you page. Here again, we have an image. If you click there and choose an image, you can select from images you've chosen before or you can go to, for example, Unsplash and choose another image that works well for it. Of course, you can click anywhere and make changes to that, just like we did on the landing page. And once you're happy with this, we can change a few settings for this page specifically. Up at the top right, you'll see preview, reports, and settings. If we go into settings, you'll see that by default, a message is shown. This means when somebody signs up to the form on that landing page, It'll say success. Now check your email to confirm your subscription. You can change what that says, or you can redirect to the thank you page that we just created. 
or you can even redirect to an external page. Maybe there's a page on your site that you wanna direct them to. You can do that by clicking this redirect to external page. Next is domain name. You get a custom domain name through kit. In this example, we have charlie.kit.com. You can have charlie.kit.com go to this page specifically, or you can change the URL name and add a custom name in here for that page to be linked to. So for example, I could say design intro, and that'll allow me to name the page charlie.kit.com slash design intro. Next up is the incentive. In both landing pages and forms, there's an incentive email that goes out by default. And this is essentially a double opt-in. If you edit this content, you can see confirm your subscription is the button here. And this explains, thanks for signing up. Just click below to confirm that you've signed up for this email list. But we definitely don't stop there. You can include things like a freebie, lead magnets, free download, etc., with this incentive email. So down here at the bottom, after confirming redirect to, and by default, it goes to a URL, it goes to this confirmed subscription page, but you can have it include a download. So here you can choose a file, and add that to the email. Here in the email, when you click confirm subscription, that will download the file as well as confirm their subscription. So they're getting what they wanted when they signed up and you're getting confirmation that they did want to be on the list. You can click anywhere in here and make changes to both the button and the text inside. So what I like to do if I'm including a download is change this to something like confirm and download. Just click save and now we have an incentive email. Advanced. These are things, I think they're overall pretty self-explanatory, but these are more advanced things you can do with this page. And I do wanna also mention SEO and analytics. You can include SEO and analytics in your landing pages, including title, description, a featured image. So when you share links, what image is shown for this link. And you can also connect Google Analytics, Facebook Business, Segment, Fathom, Pinterest, Sparkloop, and even Google Tag Manager to this page so that you can track what's going on on these pages. Now that we have all these settings worked out, let's go over and share this page with the world. Just by creating this page, we've already created a shareable link where people can go to. Of course, you definitely want to go through and make sure it looks the way you want it to and works the way you want it to, but it's as easy as just creating a page to create a link. Up here at the top right, if you click publish, you'll see the link for this page. And we didn't create a custom link earlier. If we had, you would see that option here but this is the defaults it gives you and you can just click copy. That'll copy this URL and you can share it with anyone you want to. You can also quickly share it on Facebook, share it on X, or even embed this page using the WordPress plugin, which will take over one of your pages with this landing page and put it on your own domain. Now that we've created a landing page, let's go look at forms. Again, we'll click the create new button here and instead of landing page, Let's go to form. Now you have a few options for what kind of form you want this to be. Inline is, as it implies, in line with your content. It'll be between paragraphs, in your page, in line with everything else. A modal is a form that pops up over everything. So this will take over the screen and have some form of sign up. Slide in, slides in from the bottom to show some kind of offer. And sticky bar is at the very top of the page and will always be there at the top. So let's choose inline for this example. And there's templates for these forms as well. You can choose the one that works best for you. I'm just gonna choose the Charlotte option for now. And here it looks very familiar. This is exactly like the landing page editor. You can click anywhere you want to make changes. So for example, here you could say, sign up to the newsletter. I wouldn't recommend this being your title, but you can see how this works and you can make adjustments here. So for example, sign up to the newsletter, V is on a different line. I definitely don't want that. So I can decrease the font size here to match how I want it to look over on the right side. I can also change the weight of this. Maybe I want it to be normal weight instead of bold. And I can click anywhere here, email address, make changes to this. Back on general styles, I can choose to replace this background image. So again, we can go to, for example, Unsplash and choose an image that works great for us. And now you have a form. The form has very similar settings to what we saw in the landing pages. So I won't go over all of these settings, but you can redirect to an external thank you page. You can change uh, domain name. So this is where you could share the form in its own link. You can change the incentive email and there's some advanced options as well. But once you're happy with this form and you wanna put this on your site, go up to publish just like we did with the landing page. And here you have a few options, JavaScript, HTML, share, WordPress, and Unbounce. I'm gonna focus in on the JavaScript option. That's the most ideal to embed on your site, unless you're using WordPress, and then you can come over here and just grab this code and put it into WordPress as long as you're using the WordPress plugin. The JavaScript loads the form in your site, and every change you make here in Kit 
syncs with those forms that are embedded using JavaScript. So if you use HTML, you get access to all the HTML. And if you're a web developer, this gives you a lot of options to make custom changes on the site to how the form looks or how it adapts to your site. Now we've created two brand new landing pages and forms, but let's go back and look at an existing landing page or form. So as I mentioned earlier, this graph at the top shows you the forms and how they're performing each day, how many subscribers they've brought in. You can hover over each area and see the different forms, what percentage or what number of subscribers did they take up each day, uh, how many were attributed to each landing page or form. You can also scroll down and see the performance of your pages. By default, you'll see this grid view, but you can change it here at the top by changing it to a list. And so when I'm looking at analytics specifically, it's really nice to look at this list. So we'll check that out. Visitors, subscribers, and conversion rate for each of these pages is shown at the top. And we can scroll through here and see how these pages are performing. Let's go into one of these, Screen Printing Guide version two. And when you go into a specific form or landing page, at the top right, you can also look at reports here. I'm gonna go into this and we'll take a look at the last 90 days, how many visitors were here, how many of those subscribed, and then what conversion rate did that lead to? You can also see total subscribers, how many people have come in through this form. And you can even download the list of these subscribers on the right if you need that information separately from Kit as a CSV and you can kind of go through those subscribers. Wow, we just went over a lot in a short amount of time. In the past few minutes, we created a landing page, created a form, looked at how both could be styled to match your brand, reviewed how to track the performance of those landing pages and forms. And now that you've got those landing pages and forms set up and you're getting new subscribers, one of the first places you'll see those subscribers is in your dashboard when you log into Kit. We built this dashboard to show your important data front and center, and you can learn all about it in this video right here, which is our full deep dive kit tutorial. The tutorial you just watched is actually part of that full tutorial. So when you head over there, use the timestamps in the description to find the section on dashboard. I'll see you over there.